Hey guys, so um, it's 9, 9, 23, 10.30 in the morning-ish. I got this, I was sitting by the pool and I did also get a little video of some of what was being spoken about. So um, I'm gonna try and integrate that in. This is entitled Waterworks and the subheaders are Rain, Water, Who Hears the Lord, Pray, Purpose in the Plan, and Julie. Number one, rain. As the rain falls, an observable thing occurs. A drop of water that hits standing water causes a sudden change. The moving water instantly causes a circle of water, like a wave to rise up and push outward at the same time, causing what appears to be a growing circle that spreads out. When many drops of water hit near one another, the growing moving circles of miniature waves touch each other. If the rain is frequent enough and the circles in the standing water multiply and create beautiful patterns and the water looks like it is dancing. Some drops cause more of a reach with larger circles. Some drops cause smaller circles that are not as far reaching but every single drop makes a change to standing water. This is what you are about to experience. The Holy Spirit is going to bring the most artistic influx of holy rain onto the earth, onto my true church, those with full faith in me, my servants. The wave will go out from each person as they are invited into service with a new level of observable expression of the Holy Spirit. This will make an impact on all those that each person impacts, like many waves from rain. The collection of those who are rained upon by the Holy Spirit will impact all in their sphere or their circle. This will grow across the whole world like a piece of art until the whole world has heard of my name and seen my love and protections and power. Be ready to experience and watch as the world is impacted by moving water. The lethargic Christians will spring to life. The dead to Christ will awaken. The impact will be gentle but impressive. The enemy has no ability to see or understand good, hope, love, sharing, or the spread of any of these. They are completely unprepared for the radical changes to come as my good spreads through the Holy Spirit, especially when they are single-mindedly gearing up for everyone to be drawn into fear, hate, selfishness, and hopelessness so they can overtake and oppress the masses. The gentle fall of the Holy Spirit in phases is going to radically change the world and the enemy will be completely discombobulated. Continue to pray aggressively around the clock for evil and darkness to be bound from people, for chains to be broken, and for hearts to be softened. Pray their eyes to be opened, to see the works of miracles for what they are, and pray for specific people you know and for the masses to turn to me through my Son, the one and only Messiah. Ask for their eyes to be sheltered from deception and for wisdom and discernment to be granted graciously so they may have the opportunity to hear and receive the gospel of salvation. My church, my faithful prayer choir, your quiet faithfulness is about to change the world. Rejoice! The drops of change are incoming. First, Julie will publicly exemplify this, then the anointed, then the obedient faithful, then the repentant faithful and the prodigals, then the half-borns. From heaven, each believer looks like a dot of yellow light. As of now, there are dots around the world, but they are few. 
After the drops spread in order, the world will be lit up in every corner of the earth. So many dots, they will be hard to separate. It will be just masses of light. Have hope. You will literally be spreading the light. When you spread the gospel of Jesus and share the Holy Spirit with others, you are the light of the world and you will spread the light to the world. It is true. The darkness has not understood the light in your generation, but they will. Many of them will. I am doing a new thing. My rescue plans are to unfold rapidly. Keep your dancing shoes on so you can stay in step with the Holy Spirit. And then I have four verses I need to read. John 8, 12. Then Jesus spoke to them again, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. Matthew 5, 14. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. John 1, 5. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. Isaiah 43, 19. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Number two, water. Pure water. Pure water flows from the throne of the eternal city. It heals, refreshes, and purifies. I sent my son, the living water, to earth to save. His words are living water for my people. They are healing, refreshing, and purifying. His words are also powerful. They make change. They are moving water that affects everything it touches. Drink as much living water as you can. Know his words. Read them repeatedly. This is wisdom. Number three, who hears the Lord? The pure of heart are the ones I have chosen for this time. Only the pure of heart in my eyes are my true prophets. This is about to change. A new thing. I will speak to all who have full faith in me. All who receive protections and provisions will hear me. All who obey my words will continue to hear me. Some will hear and deny. Denying my voice means staying for the tribulation. Anyone who hears my voice and then does not obey, I will no longer speak to them. They will have to find another who hears me for their safety or they will have to try to survive on their own wisdom. Some of you are worried about not hearing me. As the Holy Spirit spreads in order, each group will have access to hearing me. This is a new thing. Some believe this is impossible. Others are fearful they may miss my words. Some are concerned that the process of hearing me has passed. For they have been told this a lifetime. Pray for these people. All of you know of these people. Pray they trust me and not what man has told them. Pray they are loosed from the chains of deception. I have never stopped speaking with my own, but I stop trying when my own do not listen. Even those tricked by deception will see miracles about them by mine with true faith. This will help soften their hearts. Their motivation to keep not hearing is noble. They wish to not get off the narrow path. But it is men who have told them that people no longer hear from me. New times where multitudes will hear me. This is what is next. Have faith. The faithful will hear. Number four, pray. When things rapidly change, pray. Prayer is your best weapon. As things change, bring your concerns and pray and know I will take care of all your concerns. Let go. Pray and believe it. As things change, lean into me, hide under my wing, sing worship, read my words, trust me, 
rest in my care, be in my perfect peace. As things change, look up to me, not out at the world. As things change, recall I am God. I can and will protect and provide. Listen to my voice and follow me. Together, all concerns will be taken with ease. As things change, pray aggressively for evil and darkness to be bound from you, your family, and your property. Pray aggressively that the bonds of sin, darkness, evil, uncleanness, and idolatry are broken from the people who are not full of faith. Pray aggressively for the unsaved that they are given eyes to see and ears to hear. As things change, be grateful, be kind, be loving, be sharing, be evangelizing, be my hands and feet by serving others. As things change, recall I will provide everything needed for every task I press you to do. This includes protection. Do not fear. Do not worry. If I press you to do it, it will be blessed. Do not act without me. I am, I am. I see all. As things change, there are no surprises to my eyes. As things change, recall, I love you. You are my cherished church. You are my love's. I have only good in store for you. As things change, stay positive. Recall the two ways of seeing life. One is led by me, the other by the evil one. Do not fall prey to negativity. In every situation, there is good. Look for it, declare it, share it. As things change, acknowledge that truth that life is not going back to normal and rejoice because this means heaven is next. As things change, keep your gaze on me. Keep your gaze on Jesus. Keep your gaze on heaven. My true church. As things change, rejoice. Hear my voice. I am the Lord God Almighty. I love you. I want you with me. As things change, listen for me. Number five, purpose in the plan. All the world will bow down and say, I am God. From when and with what end? This is the question. Mine will do so in my temple or near me in heaven. Those who hate me will do so at the end. After passing through fire and far from me, they will be too impure to come to heaven. But they will see me and bow down and admit that I am God before they go to their eternal punishment. The reason my faithful church will be my witnesses during the times of sorrow is so that more can bow down before me in heaven. I wish none to suffer eternal punishment. Of course, some will. Their loyalty is with the evil one, but I desire this for no one. Each person must come to me willingly with their full heart, a willful understanding of me, a natural awe, a pull to love me and obey me. A person can fight all of this and become as the evil one. This is their choice. I give each person many opportunities to find me. Rest assured by the end, all will come that have the will to come. Some people are more compliant than others. Most stubborn tend to take more troubles before learning they cannot do it all themselves and they need me. When you see my Holy Spirit reveal who has true faith, do not be prideful that you have provisions. Have compassion that you can share with someone and save their soul. It is a small task to ask, to be flexible and trust fully in me, obeying my every directive for you. Be grateful and be used. All that I use will have special blessings in heaven. 
There are some of you who have much faith and will receive my miracles and provisions, but you will not have the stress of housing other people. Understand, I know each and every situation. I will bring people to whom I bring them. Others will be called in different ways. Never covet another's way. Just listen and obey what you are told to do. Some of you will stay put safely and be tasked to pray aggressively around the clock with some breaks for food and sleep. Some will be sent to evangelize. Some will be housing people. Some will be leading Bible studies. The list goes on. Rest in the fact that I hold it all in my hand and I will use you as I see fit. Worrying about these things shows a lack of true faith. Just trust me. Recall my plan has many facets. There is nothing too difficult for me. I am the Lord God Almighty. Number six, Julie. Here, here is where we meet the water, the fountain. You love the water because you love my pure living water. Your fascination with how it moves, how it refracts light, how it sounds, its texture is because you are filled with me. Your desire to understand it as you desire to understand me. As the fountain pours forth smoothly, so will the Holy Spirit pour out onto the world. The stable water moves from its force and the changes occur all the way to the shoreline of the pool. The power is subtle, but it moves volumes of water by its active presence. This is how we change the world. The Holy Spirit's power is as real as the waterfall's power to move the entire pool's water. You know how it feels near the fountain. It moves you even in the deepest of water. This too is how it will work in the world. All will feel it. How they respond is their choice, but all will feel it. You will be an example of his power. There is nothing to prepare. You will hear me and react. I will show you wonders. Rest in me. You do well. I hope you find that an encouragement and um, see you next time.